drug use, I'll own that. Allow me to reset it and say it again. When your callers, by virtue of the fact I heard this initiated by you, and then I hear it from your callers. This is the exact order. Tommy Sotomayor says, people in your chat room are putting my address out there. And when you said it the day you said it, you said it to implicate me in some way. I'm not slow. When you also responded to it today, you said I got to be accountable. So I'm definitely not slow. So when the woman says it here and another caller prior to her says, yo, your people are putting his address there in the chat. First of all, anybody that's my people will have better etiquette than to do that. So my people, like community, a group of people that have something in particular in common or share something in common, my community, people who vibrate on similar frequencies as I, would have better etiquette than to put someone's address there or mother's name up there. So to even associate me with that, that's disrespectful. But I take it because I understand it's being done in emotion. I understand it's being done because of the the negativity that's being spewed against you, it has you flustered. But I am not going to sit here and own that because I don't raise my children to behave like that, nor am I suggesting people should behave like that. So no, I don't want to own it. I will not associate myself with it. And this is just the, this is the third time now someone brought it up. So now I'm addressing it. I ain't addressed it when you did it on the show because that's what you do. You always look at the chat and you say, Look at what the people in your chat room are doing and you associate it to the person that you're talking to. I'm okay with that. I refuse to argue about it that day. I'm okay with it when someone else said it on the hit. Now, the third person is doing it. I'm like, listen, let me just make it clear because sometimes a lack of response is an admission of guilt. Let me just say for the record, I don't give a damn about stuff like that. I don't think people should do stuff like that. I'm totally against things like that. I didn't see it. All I can say is, you said you saw it, and after I heard you say you saw it, then other people use that to condemn me as though I'm part of a conspiracy to allow people to put that address there. Case closed. Then the sister goes on to keep saying, you know, I don't even see myself like this. I'm not the type to be like that yet. I'm, so you see, that's okay. You don't see yourself in your glory. You may not believe that you have it in you to be great. Fine. But don't project those thoughts on other women. So Light is talking about the past of women. Tommy's talking about what they are now. Excuse me. There's not no great black women that exist today. Right now, what are we saying? This is the past. Your t- Light breaks down who they are in the past. Tommy breaks down who they are in the present. By that very notion. And then I'm being accredited for all the positive talk with the women, and you're being accredited for all the negative talk with the women. So the negativity of the woman is what's present, and the positivity of the woman is what's in the past. How are we going to raise our children or put any esteem in our black family? Where's the reference point of greatness in order to succeed? In order for one to succeed, there must be some success. And succession, the ION is a suffix that alludes to a condition which sets off a series of events. If I succeed someone, that's how that person becomes the successor. And therefore, in order to establish yourself as being successful, you have to come from something else. If I want to be a good boxer, I have to have a reference for those who box before me. I want to be a better ball player, I have to have a reference for those who play ball before me. So we're going to be successful as a people. We have to have a point of reference for those that did great before us so we can actualize our knowledge of that greatness in the present. So by degrading and diminishing the role and the potential that women already possess in our culture, in our race, is setting them back. This is not about giving people nice things to say. That is the most foolish thing I've ever heard. You talk like women don't have the potential to be great. I would like to ask that black woman, when if her child said, Mommy, I can't read. What is she going to tell her child? Well, you know black women ain't shit any fucking way. Is that what she going to say? You know black women be twerking. Don't fucking try to read. What is she going to say to that child? She's going to encourage that child. She's going to give that child words of encouragement based on facts. She's going to tell that child, baby, you have the potential. Don't say you 
can't read. Baby, you have the intelligence. Don't say you can't read. So where the freak do we get off with this crazy ass idea that degrading our sisters is what's in the present and this is the way to go? No, you talk to people based on the potential that they have, whether they demonstrate it or not. I get it. people are doing bad things. But you got to let people know the potential that they possess in order to reciprocate the ties of the wrong that they already do. Now, I get it, Tommy. Tear them the fuck down so they can see themselves for what they've become. Fine. But I'm not going to have no sister or no brother talk that bullshit to me and tell me I got to tear someone down who's already obviously broken down if they're doing the wrong goddamn thing. It is my responsibility to let them know that they have something innate in them that is great and you have come off the path because obviously you are not aware that you have the capabilities to do better. I got to let you know you have the tools already to do better. You don't necessarily need the money. You don't necessarily need even the support. These are nice things, but all of us already have something innate in all of us that we can do better. And that's where it starts. Because no matter what you give to a person to perfect themselves, they still got to have confidence and esteem and motivation to want to do better. I can give you all the good food in the world. You may not eat that food because you still got to make the decision. You got to know the decision is yours. You got to know your capabilities. So run that craziness, man. I sit here and I listen to this crap for fucking hours. And I, and I tolerate it. But enough with this shit. Like black women ain't got nothing good to offer the fucking world. This is some bullshit I'm listening to. And I don't give a fuck who heard the shit. I don't give a fuck if you got a sister crawling in. Yeah, because I don't know I'm great. And I don't know what I possess. And I don't know I'm a queen. Those are things that's in the past. You sound like a real fucking sucker. And you're so fucking old to be talking that sucker shit. How the fuck we gonna raise our children with that sucker ass fucking doctrine? The fuck is wrong with people? Well, you went on your goddamn rant, my brother. This one's my fucking rant. It sounds fucking sick. It's disgusting to hear black people talk for so long like they own women ain't shit. And all you want to do is point out the ones doing the worst shit. And if they do it so goddamn bad, hold their goddamn hand. Don't accuse them. Don't condemn them. Don't mock them. Don't ridicule them. Don't propagate the message that they ain't shit before they start believing in that shit more than they already do. Maybe perhaps the reason they're behaving the way they do is because we are propagating the message with them instead of trying to destroy the fucking message. Destroy the message by letting them know that they possess great qualities. Destroy that image that they're doing by holding their hand and talk to them and tell them you love them. Give them a hug. Let them know you are concerned with cursing people out. What good does that do? You mean like you just did? Who am I cursing out in particular? You just call that woman a sucker ass. I say sound like a sucker. And I say they act like a bitch. You can keep that. If you want me to call her, no, no, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. Just like you are able to do what you do, and it's not called emotional. It's no, get them king, it. get them king, no, no, go am king. I am no, 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 that's not what your audience is saying. That's the I'm thing I do am. know. I me know for now, I'm when I talk myself. to people, I I'm want people for myself. I don't care what you say. My audience is saying. I'm speaking from. See, this is the bullshit I'm talking about. No, you, but I am talking to you. Remember what I said earlier? What the whole purpose of these things were. If I was just talking to you, I would have called you on the phone. I could have sworn I said earlier that my purpose of ever talking to anyone in a forum like this is to be able to talk to the people. And when the people don't matter, then I won't do it. You when know, you can say the cute, reason you... All of that is cute, but I'm telling you where I'm coming from, you telling me, oh, this is what... Don't tell me what they're saying qualifies what I feel. Ask me how I feel. You say, when people say something about me, when I say I'm emotional, I'm telling you, I am emotional. I love the black woman. And I sit here and I listen to a bunch of stuff I disagree with about the black woman. And you know what? Now it's too much. Now the shit is just getting out of fucking control. When I got to hear black woman, I don't know the power I possess. No, Tommy is right. I don't know I'm a queen. So you know what? At this point, 
I'm not about to let that shit go on my watch because you know what? My daughter's listening to that shit. I ain't got to worry about my wives. They mind is right. But I ain't going to let my daughter be around me listening to no goddamn woman older than her. I don't know about the power I possess. So you got to listen to Tommy because I was listening to him for years and I don't know about the queen. And I don't, you're talking about us in the past. Listen, at this point, that shit is on fucking ice. Enough is enough with the bullshit. Maybe if my daughter wasn't in here, I'd be good money. But I ain't fucking sit quiet when I got an opportunity to speak. Unless it's your time to speak, then I'm good. Out of respect. But I ain't gonna sit here and be quiet and listen to this fucking madness. Oh, oh and, and, let, and let this woman insinuate I got something to do with your dress being in the goddamn chat. Then turn around. I'm not aware of my power. I, I didn't know what this was. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know where I'm at. And we don't know where we at. And we don't know who we are. Listen, all that shit is confusion. Y'all, y'all had a long time to ride the wave with that confusion. I was very positive. I was very quiet. I listened to this damn chaos. You had your 10, 13 minute rant. Today's my day, damn it. And I'm not going to sit here and listen to no more of that crazy shit without it going unrebutted or, or, or not refuting it. Because what you got to understand, my dear brother, and it's not necessarily you, you have your place in this world. But what the viewership got to understand is that if your approach towards healing people is condemnation, good luck with that. But you know what? Try some love sometime amongst your own race. You like to fucking bully each other. That's just bullying. You see somebody doing something that obviously shows you they have a lack of, self, lack of self-esteem, and what do you do? You tear them down further? If I see somebody looking like they got a lack of self-esteem, I'm going to encourage them to kill himself? No. They need to be spoken to. They need to be healed. They need better food. They need some concern. Trust it their direction. You don't tear people down who obviously are broken down, whether they can admit it or not, whether they know it or not. You lift them up. You raise them up. This ain't about just giving them compliments. This is about making a love effort towards your people. You so goddamn concerned about these women shaking their fucking ass. Go see them in person and talk to them. Tell them that it fucking hurts you as a black man. Tell them that it hurts you as a man that knowing you got children and you got daughters. Tell them that it hurts you because you're a black man and you got wives to be. Tell them that it hurts you as a black man because you got aunts, you got nieces. If you're so damn concerned for cursing them out and doing videos and mocking them, all you're doing is degrading them further than they degrading themselves. But what I would like to see is the effort of you going to these women and talking to them and pleading with them. Please stop this shit. Why? Because you are great. You have excellence. What makes me excellent? Answer those damn questions. It's easy to call somebody and, and tell them they ain't shit. It's a lot more harder to find out what they possess that they can contribute to this world for the progression of themselves or for their people. That's a whole lot harder because you got to think to make that kind of assessment to find out what are their good qualities and how can they use those qualities to contribute to themselves or the rest of the world. That's a whole lot harder than to simply rise someone off as, as, as trash or as promiscuous or as a whore or as a harlot or as a thought that all those are just name calling. Well, put some goddamn action into what you're saying. If you love these women like you say you do, hold their hand. And this ain't even for Tommy. He's set in his way. He got his way. I, I accept it. But for y'all out there, with all the damn name calling and the celebration that your own people acting crazy, where the fuck is your compassion, man? Where the fuck is your heart at? Why the fuck you seem like you celebrating the demise of our race? Why you seem like you so fucking happy our race is on decline? Why are you so happy the women that represent our mothers is on decline? Hug those women. Love those women. Talk to those women. Heal those women. Feed those women. Talk to those women. They'll respond back to you. A lot of them acting like that because they ain't got no one to fucking talk to. Because no one gave a damn when they had problems. No one had an outlet for them. And now we making fun of the motherfucking victims of society. Victims of failed parents. Victims of poverty. Victims of slavery. Victims.
victims malnutrition, victims of a lack of educational resources. And the only thing we can thrust at them is names and posting videos to ridicule them. But when was the last time you called these women a name and you actually try to confront them live and in person to heal them, to let them know that you are loved and it hurts to see them behave that way and they should hurt to demonstrate themselves that way. Name calling ain't shit. You want to fucking bully women. That shit ain't shit. The fuck, how, how, what the fuck have we become? When we can be proud that our women are behaving a certain way. So proud, we glorify that shit and paste it all over the fucking internet. We don't need nobody else adding more trauma to the fucked up images of our people. Put some goddamn positive images so they got a point of reference so it can qualify shame because they can see more people of their own kind doing so great, they may have to look at themselves and say, damn, I'm doing wrong. But if they're doing wrong, and we paste that they're doing wrong, and someone posts that they're doing wrong, and someone talks about them doing wrong, how the fuck is that solving the problem? Where's the remedy? I'm done. I think I equaled your damn time from the last rant you had. I apologize for consuming so much time. And have you sit there and wait, my brother. So you mean not to criticize and call them names when they dancing and twerking and shaking their ass, but it'd be better to partake in it with them and go out there and do it with them. That's a better way of helping them. Okay. I believe you're being facetious. I, I am, Bob, but I'm, I'm, I'm trying to take what little bit of time I have left since I allowed you to not only say what you said about me and my audience and I said nothing so taking the truth shouldn't be a problem because what I just said was a fact but if you believe that helps that's great if you also believe that saying what you're not going to let your daughter hear while you go on a rant where you're using every curse word possible is cool then that's fine as well and yeah. if you also want to say what you're not going to let your daughter do because if you see or hear because if something's wrong I would find it just in my household, if I had told my daughter to not block you and she did it again just to be having fun, my daughter would probably be off the keyboard and in the bed and I'd apologize to you. I wouldn't have laughed along with her. But again, we all have our different ways of doing things, speaking and acting. Now, I've done a very good job, I believe, at trying to explain myself to a group of people who in my estimation won't listen. So what my message is to the black people who understand the message to separate yourself because my people have been very respectful of the difference in what you see, the difference in what you hear. And even me, brother, I'm able to do this and I do a whole bunch at once, but there's certain things I would not allow simply because it doesn't make sense and you're not going to be able to grow with people when you're saying that. So if you believe that how I speak in a video, that the only way you can see it is to go partake in it, then you'd feel that same way about a place where I've been invited, where I am being spoken about and spoken to that way directly. When my audience is being spoken about and spoken to directly, when they were invite, invited to a place when they are coming to where even though we disagree at a certain point in time, you'd assume that the man who calls women bitches and hoes and sluts and BT-1000s and goes off on them, maybe my crowd would have been the one talking crap to yours. While yours, the one with all the queens and the beautiful black women, maybe that would have been the one calling for calm. Maybe that would have been the one trying to uplift, as you said, because that's what you preach. But it's funny, the negative guy has a more uplifting crowd than the positive guy who believes in uplifting. So either I don't know how to reach my audience or your audience doesn't know how to listen to you. Brother, you can own whatever audience you want to own. My message is specifically for people who call people names and tear them down when they're at their lowest moments. Like your audience. Now, if you want to say my audience this, or you're cursing at my audience, if you want to claim all that, all of that is good. I ain't got no time to argue over stuff like that. You can have whatever reservation about audiences you want. I'm not into that. 
I'm into what I said. If you're trying to tear people down that you already know something must be wrong with them, that's the problem. That's it. We can, we can vent our frustrations, but let's not get too carried away tearing our people down. If you're not going to supplant that same energy, equal and opposite, and facilitate a means to pick them up. <clears throat> now, you can feel like this is a direct attack against you. Go wild in my deliberation. During my diatribe, I specifically say, there's things I disagree with Tommy. He's in his way. It's not for him. If you still want to own something I said, you was hit by it, it resonates with you, that's for whatever reason, I will not come to a conclusion for you. Why you may still want to own something I said, when I made it clear during my deliberation, this is not for you. You are in your way, you have what you do, and I've accepted that and I respect it. I've said this, so for you to own it, so that's you. I don't even want to go into that. So that becomes, are, are you saying that I'm, I don't care about those kind of conversations? I'm not into having those tiny conversations. There's a big conversation in front of us. There's a big conversation in front of us. And the big conversation in front of us is should we use a certain tactic to uplift our people if that's what we call them? And that is separate and different from you. I say to people out there who think it's cool to celebrate the fall of our women. <clears throat> you don't have to agree with it. You can accredit that to my audience. None of that matters because it's either true or it's false. But the statement that I'm making is what should be the point of focus. Not our speculations about how many people in this chat and percentage is with me. How many people in that chat and percentage is with you? <clears throat> And as for my daughter, which I would ask, leave out the equation. I only brought that up because you said I, you, I made it you brought it up as a point of contention against my audience. No problem. I made it clear that I spoke to her, and I made it clear that I'm doing some things in quiet with my baby girl. I said I'm, I'm mad. when you play it back, I said I'm doing things in quiet because it's not incumbent for me to scold or discipline my daughter in front of the people or the World Wide Web. It's not my style. So I don't have to prove a point with her right now, live before the world, at Tommy's disposal and everyone else. No, I just don't behave that way. I'm just going to live my life. And if a little girl has you so flustered that you are demanding all these things, then again, it speaks to something that I won't speak about because I don't want to speak on your behalf. I'm not into that. I just want my daughter out the equation. You upset? I told you I agree. I said it like three times. You still want to talk about it? It's your right. You're a grown man. Now I just ask as another man to another man. Let's leave out the equation. You've been at your frustration. It's Sir, I just responded to what you said. I literally responded to what you said. Now, I'm one thing I'm going to stop doing, because now I'm tired. I'm tired of someone saying something, and I literally respond to them. The debate we had, if you go back and anybody listen to it with listening ears, most of everything I do was a response. And right now, today, most everything I say is a response. I'm not a dick or a jackass where I just start bringing up stuff that had nothing to do with it. I don't talk about something that people are wondering, why did that come out? One of the good things about talking about me is I address what you say. Thank you for using Blog Talk I Radio. I do my best Goodbye. to address what was brought up. Now, when you say, don't say this again, it was brought up as used against the audience. I have no problem with it. I didn't even know that was your daughter until you said it was your daughter. That's a fact. I just asked... That you stop. I can't tell you what to do. That's why I have to I'm not ask. saying you can tell me. I'm telling you, I only responded to what you said. I, I didn't want... know it was your daughter until you said it was your daughter. That's not the point at hand. All I all I'm really saying is that I asked if you stop and you responded to that. So there's no need for me to keep going about it. You keep going about it. I, I, you keep reinforcing. I only did this. I understand. I never disagreed. Every time you said I only did this because I never disagreed. I just don't want that to be the thing. Where we confused about what I just